Hello and welcome back to Project Zomboid Season 3, Episode 26, and look what I remembered to bring over this time. Oh, wondrous. It's almost like I had intentionally made it, uh, brought it here just for this exact purpose. It's the only reason I actually went and got it. So, hooray. Yes, I am bad at remembering things. I also went and cleared out, I think, most of the stuff. I seem to have forgotten some things, but overall, less concerned about that, more concerned about get stuff done. I'll drop this with you. I'll get it later. The bat, uh, I'll leave it with this axe right now. Along with the screwdriver and empty cast can. And that should be everything there. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to haul all this here. Now I'm not going to be making you sit through all this, but overall I'm just doing this. Very simple project. And bring it over here. I forgot that I'm in the wrong section. Drop it in here. And as you can see, this thing holds a lot of wood. I just don't want to be moving too fast there. There we go. And I should be able to do this quite easily. I think I can hold 15 planks. If not, I can hold 13? Oh, 14. Something around that range. Zoom. I like going from this direction because I can at least tell that that area is mostly safe. Even though that's probably the least safe area that I keep running into. Uh, really, this is the only thing I can do this later where I probably should actually be doing something else here. Let's take all these. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Luckily this is a lot easier than actually having to sit around and watch this happen a thousand times. Yes, I'm probably hungry again. Eat another fourth of my candy bar. Oh. Looks like I've depleted it. Oh well. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of planks. Really, this just makes it a lot easier so I can actually package them up. And as you can see, it, it holds a lot of weight. 300 is just marvelous for this type of stuff. And two. And how many are here? Ten. That's not good. Because storms actually cause undead to uh, move around. Even without fear of the rain, storms tend to be more of a nuisance because it causes zombies to. Hello? Oh, that's because it's run to the point where it can no longer store as much as you'd want. Huh. That's fun. Uh, 
let's just do this for a bit. One. Two stacks should be good. Stick, just one. I'm hearing something from this direction. It sounds like groans of a very unhappy customer. Not sure if that's actually what's happening there, but oh, there's a lot of corpses here. I didn't know I was getting that prolific with murder. Hmm. Overall, we have quite a few issues that we don't have enough Actually, I wanted to check this, see if it has any uh, carpentry books. I'm pretty sure not, but never is to check. Oh. Hmm. Well, I guess I could. See, I'm trying to get my carpentry up, and I'm trying to think of best ways to do so. And I don't know what the best way to do so would be. Uh, two planks. That's not a lot. What can I do to make... Well, I guess I could probably... Yeah, I'm gonna drive this. I know, I know what I can do. Great, this keeps me dry-ish. I actually don't know if this gets it keeps me dry or if it doesn't. We'll leave that there. We'll get in here for some lumber. I'll take out whatever we can. Do we have nails? No, we don't have any nails. The nails are in here. Along with, I think, the hammer. Do I have the hammer in here? No. I wish this rain would just stop. the hammer. Is it in here? Nope. Nope. Where's my hammer? I don't even have one in here. Okay. I'm suspicious now. Where's my hammer? I don't remember disposing of it. It's not in here. Not in here. Not in here. And it's not in here. I think I have one in here, but I don't make any guarantees with that one. I don't 
don't know what happened to my hammers. Now I need to think of where my hammer is. Because I can't really do too much if I don't have a hammer. I have having a hammer in here. Nope. I can put the sheet ropes in here though. And it's not in here. I did put the spray paint in here. Yeah. I'm missing a hammer. Don't know why I'd be in here, but luckily the lights haven't gone out yet. Let's try in some of these. other place that I can think of that would have a hammer would be in here. <sighs> I think I have one in here. But I'm hoping I could find it. I, I would really, really very much like to find my hammer. Yeah, there's one. Ooh. Otherwise, I can't do anything here. I need some nails. Need to equip the hammer. Equip his primary. And let's just start building. Random floors. It's not like I really need to care where I'm building, or what I'm building. Need to get out of the rain for a bit at least. Hmm. Well, I have the saw and everything. I still don't know what happened to my hammer, but apparently it's gone. For all eternity. Here we go. Build a wooden floor. Just for fun. I'm glad I'm under this overhang. at least keeping me partially dry. There we go. Shit. I'm out of wood. Take as many as I can handle. At least for a bit. I try and, I'm trying not to get too wet. Even though I do have the outdoorsman trait, I'd still rather not get too soaked. Do the fact I'm pretty sure I could still get sick if I get actually completely soaked. Building random floorings just because I can.
build. How much is my skill now? 98 out of 100. I kind of regret building that, but... Yeah. Okay, it's at least eased up. Slowly wasting the wood, but it, it's at least getting my carpentry up. So not really too much of a waste. Hmm. Anywhere else where I can build immediately. Eh. I think this is just like the best spot anywhere. Hooray, it's finally stopped running. Let's see. Oh. I don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound. Fuck you, helicopter. I have to kill things now. See, the helicopter just... I don't know why he never stops doing this. But it's going to take eight hours, or it's going to ruin my entire plan here. can't really go away here. I can technically leave. And you'll notice that he's like, constantly trying to flop in front of me. He's going to go to the left. Now well, let's go over here. This will be easy enough to deal with. I've already killed most of the zombies in this vicinity anyway, so really the most they can uh, he can threaten me with is potentially the stragglers that are inside the cornfield and potentially some that are in the woods. Yep. Again, cornfield, woods. Really the only... Th oh, there's actually quite a few of you now. Uh, he's coming back for his annoying pass. Hmm. Maybe he's going to help me. I highly doubt it. Yeah, those helicopters, they just cause problems. Ooh. Yeah. Just problems. Because now he's left like six Zeds in my cornfield. That I'll have to dispose of by hand. Ah, <sighs> oh, he's coming back for his pass.
Yeah. Don't even need to have the inventory open. I already know what he's going to be doing. Go to the right. Go to the left. He constantly tries to trail in front of you, so you anywhere you go, you'll be trapped. Step. Well, if I just stand here, they'll come to me. Annoying, but true. That's a lot of them. constantly wow see this is how like natural hordes form is random events and suddenly nope oh come on stab oh yeah I can already start seeing the, the panic sure that they're not breaking down my door. There's a lot of them here. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna run. Nope. Wow. That's a lot of them. Like a lot more than I was expecting. For being such a remote area that a helicopter just causes problems. Then again, I did kind of screw myself by making my settings in such a way that no matter how far I am, 200 blocks away, they'll hunt for me. I think I left that door open. Hey, buddy. Hi. Assassinate. Assassinate. Here, let me fix your uh, brain troubles with my machete. You have some sort of a uh, brain infection, it seems. Uh, it doesn't seem to be very healthy for you, so. Oh, I'll correct it with uh, jamming my machete into your brain and swirling it around a little bit and leaving you with a nice, good pinkish gray matter mush. That'll make you feel better, right? Pretty sure the zombies inside the, the barn. Over here. Over here. Come here, buddy. Assassinate. I'm going to be clearing for days. Hmm. The thing is, this isn't really that hard, especially with the machete. It's just, there's so many of them, and if I mess up even in the slightest, it'll basically end the episode or the series. Not really so much as the series, actually, as the series is... I think going to focus mo uh, mainly on the build.
shield. It's just gonna be life end. Stab. 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 See, these things are just really easy to level up. I think this one is. Assassinate. Stomp. Now all they need to do is make a legendary system for your hands and feet, and that would be golden. Assassinate. Oh, assassinate. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> See, I think they gravitate more towards the giant pile of corpses. Kinda wish there was light. It's a bit hard to see. See, they're gravitating towards single corpses. And I can't sleep until this area is cleared. Because there's so many of them. Stab. I have plenty of equipment, though. So... My main issue is trying to get into this house and ending up on the wrong end of a zombie horde. I can't see. It's too dark in there. Yeah, there's so many around. But, regardless, it's the end of the episode. I'll clear out whatever I can and probably end up maybe sleeping in the uh, little workshop over there. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Again, that back door being destroyed has kind of put me into a bad position where I can't do much. I probably should go for carpet uh, to be a carpenter next time. Because literally, I can't do anything until later. <sighs> Stab. Yeah, it's the end of the episode. Bye. Thank you for watching. For more content, check out my channel. If you wish to support my channel, check out my Patreon. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates.